Hey guys, welcome to the show. My name is Kabir Uppal and I'm your host on the Pursuit of Wellness. I'm a fitness enthusiast myself and by chatting with guests, I hope to learn a lot and hopefully you will too. You can check out our Facebook group, The Pursuit of Wellness, where we interact with guests and listeners and discuss their journeys. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at TPOW Podcast. This is a Mancha Media production. You can find out more on manchamedia.com. On this week's episode, we're chatting with Sahil Marwa. I've known Sahil for many years as a friend and we played a lot of basketball games together. He's a partner at a Delhi-based communications company called Beeman Words and is a massive fitness enthusiast who has had an amazing journey. We chat with him about his transformations and all the things he's done to maintain a fit and healthy life. I'm super excited for this chat and for you guys to hear it too. So let's get started. So we've already given our listeners a introduction about you, but uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself in your own words? Thanks a lot firstly man for calling me here in the smashing intro. I run a communication firm called Beeman Words. It's a lot of fun stuff around marketing, uh, keeps me engaged all day. Post all day is what uh, I think I've I've been called here for. Uh a little bit about uh, my fitness routine and what I do as a uh, when I play a sport, uh how I keep myself active, sometimes also how it's important to have a great diet. Should be a good session this time man. Should be fun to like chat about uh, about this with you. Absolutely, absolutely. So why don't we start with where, where it all began for you? Um you know, you've gone through a very big transformation um you know, health wise. Why don't you tell us about how that started and why you eventually did it? I will call this two faced for show sure, man. A lot of people don't know about this, but I'll split it for you. I learned it twice. I learned like from my mistakes and everything. So my first transformation was after right after college, probably last year of college. I saw Rocky back to back all of them that like pumped me up and that's how I lost a lot of weight I started running a lot I started gymming and I started playing ball so that was my first transformation of, of sorts where I made sure that I'm working out I'm really active uh, throughout the day but that was mostly cardio so this is why I'm saying it's two phased right cause uh, I had that bug in me that I need to be fitter and I just focus on simple things which is just learning how to like run more and also play basketball like and be more active in life but that led to a lot of weight loss which is not the right way it's a uh, good to also build muscle and uh, it should be more holistic of sorts but the other thing that i learned and was partly was also some discipline which is very important in my life back then like there are certain things i gave up then and which i still don't eat now uh, which i learned there is that it's easy to like you know learn and make something a habit right uh, this was years ago man this was like long time back Uh, I've kind of maintained that of sorts, which is my weight. But with my body, I've learned more about my body in the last three or four years, which is basically when I shifted our offices, which is in close to Saket now, and I changed my gym. I learned a lot there through the trainers, through the nutritionists, and all, and also like how important it is to like have some good muscle weight. Uh, working out right, discipline on food is good, but you're allowed to cheat also. But like also like how to eat right and in the right way, and was the right quantity. number of times you got to eat i think yeah. nutrition is very very important if you are, are leading an active life it is tiring mentally and physically when you have a long days at work then you have to also be nourished enough to go to the gym after that because that's a part of my lifestyle yeah. now that yeah. you know no matter what i will go to work out or play a sport at like 7 7:30 in the evening but if i'm not nourished enough i can't work out So this is something that I'm building on now lots of learning in the last 3 4 years. So we'll jump into the specifics uh, post this but I just wanted to give our listeners a little bit of an idea about what your day looks like right you mentioned that you run a communication firm and that's a f- significant time of the day gone right how yeah. do you manage um, your entire day and add the fitness and nutrition angle to it as well. I've scheduled it really well now I think this has been in the last couple of months in fact I wake up really early now try to start my day by 6:30 7 max. I sleep by 10:30, 11 max. In the morning, I do some reading and uh, some work alone in peace. Then I get to work by 11ish. Uh, finish. Uh, what I try to do is balance it right. I want to finish work by seven tops, 6:30, 7 tops, so that I can reach the gym by 7:30. Work out no matter what uh, for just an hour, not more than that, so that I can head back on uh, home and have dinner on time. Uh, it's working out well for me this uh, this schedule of mine. what i would say is uh, what i've added is now like just having like enough breaks in the middle to eat something light i'm not saying that i'm going out to eat but there'll be like every 2 3 hours i'll be eating something no matter what so that there is enough uh, of energy for me at the gym also otherwise because i did feel like a little drowsy and tired there have been lots of days that i walk into the gym 
and i work out yeah so but waking up early has definitely helped my schedule better and this has been just like 3 or 4 months what one thing i do with all my uh, routines of sorts is i log it so if i go work out or i go play basketball if i personal training i log it, log it on yeah. my phone if i wake up on time i log it so if i'm not waking up on time i'm missing on that day so it's not becoming a discipline and routine and a habit for sure okay so i know if in a week i'm waking up at 6:30 only 3 days a week and next week i'm waking up like 6 days a week yeah. so what's going right what's going wrong yeah so you're almost keeping track through data of what you're doing it's very tim uh, ferris type uh, thing yeah, yeah but it's definitely helping me out because it's a reflection of sorts yeah. of like how my last week's been and uh, it's well i have cut down on my night life a lot which i'm okay with because uh, if you're up by 6 37 you are like no matter what you do you want to sleep by 10:30 later yeah absolutely so let's talk about your journey a little bit the transformation that you had initially in your last year of college uh, what was the weight loss that you achieved then and as you mentioned you know that was more cardio and running um, how did you kind of structure that for yourself at that time okay so last year of college we barely had any classes i don't know why that's something that happens in hindu bcom uh, i had a lot of time so what i did was i made a routine and also promised myself that i'm giving up some things which i'm i used to be addicted to man that's that's the best way to put it i was addicted to maggi and chola bhatura no lies like straight up i haven't had maggi and chola bhatura in like 8 or 10 years wow, straight up wow that's serious bro. commitment man yeah. that's serious commitment uh, <laughs> so back to uh, what happened was i used to time my day in a way cuz we were younger i think we had more time i used to make sure that i'm running or going to the gym to run so that's why like you know i didn't do anything beyond that so i was like either running around the colony or lodi gardens or the gym and then in the evening because we we were always playing games you know we were very active i took that like 5 pm slot for like basketball yeah these exercises definitely did help me a lot i think i lost shredded all of it like i think 40 odd kilos wow in like 5 or 6 months first 2 3 months it was very slow i would say change and after that it all happened in snap i don't know how it felt good now when i look at it i was too thin but that time i felt great yeah. with my own body so that time what the results i got of being thin because i wanted to be that like i did feel good at that point of time like uh, 100% but now when i roll out like, dude dude i was so skinny back then so yeah but i think it's also like you know sometimes people do say that you're never happy with your own body now i say the oh, dude like that's not great now if i look at myself 5 months ago also there are certain changes that i made now that i'm happy with my body now so you keep you have to keep on pushing yeah. your limits so right? that's that's something that we're going to get to in terms of goal setting and shifting also with your you know how you've managed that why don't we talk a little bit about your second transformation as well you had mentioned that you know you've gone through two phases of transformations but i wanted to actually touch upon your second transformation you said you had two phases of transformations the first you know you rightly just said that you felt very that it was too skinny so do you feel that second transformation is a bit more balanced and you've you know used your experience to have more nutrition uh, a better fitness regime as well I think balance is a really good word you uh, took but I'll say how the balance came through knowledge I I think all lot to lot to knowledge from uh, my friends who are really fit uh, my trainers at the gym doing it the right way was very important what is important for your body I learned it through by reading up so that is what how my change flipped like I never stretched before playing basketball then I then I hurt my back so that they, that yeah. I learned that I need to stretch before playing basketball and I was stretched before lifting weights I pulled my back again you know so these are things that you need to learn you know like even uh, warming up it's very important so yeah. like this, this is all like I learned it the hard way because of injuries but like now I make sure that there's enough knowledge so that I do it the right way I'm learning right things so I keep on now testing myself in new things and I see that there's a positive change in myself every month I kid you not man that's how much like I'm trying to absorb from people I usually hit up a lot of my friends man like you know Javier yeah uh, Javier I like I message him all the time I've mailed him a lot of, on my diet on exercises Convert I've chatted with him a lot so these are like my friends who are that I They're go to They're helping you out yeah Yeah Convert I go to a lot so like he told me like you know personal training is amazing for you and I kid you not it was amazing for me beyond that I have my trainers at the gym who are like out there to help me out no matter what before my current gym I had never consulted anyone even at the gym so i don't know if i was doing it right i don't know if uh, there were some minor injuries back then so with now i think with time age because you know when you get injured it st- stops you down beyond your workout which is that work also because you pulled your back maybe you're not going to work because it's hurting yeah. right so these things i've learned i would say uh, balancing everything has been a key for sure i will also say being regular has helped me out a lot now 
it's a great release that's yeah. the best way to put and it man is that are those the new additions that you've had in your second transformation it would be knowledge consistency and discipline 100% awesome and uh, i wanted to actually jump into uh, the benefits and the effects that these transformations have had on your life you know can you tell us a little bit about what you felt it's added in terms of obviously the weight loss in terms of feeling better in, in you know health wise fitness wise but what are some other effects that it's had on your life well i would say there is more like you know you feel more better about yourself there's more confidence 100% you know you're more active also man forget gymming and like playing a sport and all but if you say ah let's go for a long walk i won't be panting with you right uh when you're traveling it's all about walking man uh, none of us take cars or ubers anything you know like when you're discovering a city it's all by foot yeah. or by bike so i don't think i'd be able to do it when i was like slightly chubbier compared to what i am now like if you take me for a trek also which i have never done before i think i'll do a fairly decent job at it yeah and run us through you know a little bit of your current training plan and as you rightly mentioned before that there are some goal shifting and changes you know that as and when you kind of progress you kind of change up what you want to achieve right so tell us a little bit about how you structure that for yourself as in your current plan and how you change your goals as those plans kind of get executed so for almost a year i was just doing two body parts and supersetting with like at the gym um, some cardio then the most fun part it was playing a sport over the weekend made sure i was playing basketball over the weekend calling in wherever i could so that was my regime of sorts i flipped it around because i saw that i'd saturated again So Kanwar in fact told me that you know personal training is amazing and he has a fit body so I got a personal trainer on board I think 2 months ago it's legit changed my life like I've never had a personal trainer I've always had those trial sessions like you know 3 sessions or 5 sessions that's it this time I've got a tr- personal trainer on board like he's again more knowledge I think he's like pushed me to another level all my boundaries man you know if you think you can like lift something or like do a certain number of reps yeah. like and then like mentally pushing you man because i know i would have never been able to do it without this person next to me pushing me to like do it for do it sure more, yeah yeah i like i would recommend someone who wants to also take it to another level and is now saturated of sorts or like think that the like it, they're stagnant with where they are right now uh, getting external help could be really really good but it's very important for the trainer to understand your goals and body also yeah uh, the trainer should have a lot of experience Uh, so I didn't go with someone who has like less experience. I picked up someone who has like a lot of experience also, so that he understands. I told him about my injuries that have happened. Like I was like, dude, I've messed up. Once I was picking up picking up weights at Epicuria, and I just pulled my back by just picking up weights. Weight, so like yeah. I'm like, so I told him about my my lower back is weak. I've uh, popped my ankle a couple of times. So like he understood that man. Like I forgot how to squat. Literally forgot how to squat. And in two sessions, I was back at it. That, yeah, yeah, like there, but there was also a mental log that I had. cause uh, of my injuries I like I can't do it again but this guy got me back and he like you have to do it man like so like he didn't my leg day wasn't my first training session cause he got my confidence back by other body parts and then like he like now I can push him to do other things because he listens to me yeah. right so now I, I actually like listening to someone else though I don't think I'll be personal uh, having a person throughout my life but I think for a couple of more months to learn as much as possible for sure Yeah so actually even going in and out of personal training might be helpful for somebody when you like you said that you might feel saturated whether that's you know bringing about a change through a trainer or through a workout buddy that's more knowledgeable than you are just to give you that extra push to try something new or to try something that you've been previously afraid to do right I totally agree man like I've tried so many new things now beyond working out in personal training yoga beyond amazing like it's opened my body up like my body had become so stiff learned yoga because of again my injuries at the gym uh, started practicing it more i feel so different man i couldn't stretch before i can stretch r- like decently well now what's important is also like maybe i explore like something like a crossfit later mma later yeah. i want to play around with my body as much as my c- i can so and how do you currently fit in yoga like is there x amount of times a week or x amount of times a month that you're kind of doing that i would say if i'm working on my core one day i'll you do it with yoga so that's how it usually works and uh, sometimes on a lower back uh it'll be like around 3 times a week just yeah. low back exercise yeah. my uh, i use uh, yoga as m- the most important tool cause it does ha- ha- like it's literally helped me a lot i would want to try new workouts new systems new cardio activities also yeah, yeah. later at some uh, point Absolutely. for sure and i think it's it's uh, it's a great time for people like us who are enthusiasts you know there's so much going on there are new types of classes there are new types of workouts there are new studios there are new locations constantly opening up people are testing out new theories in terms of workouts in terms of um, you know cardio and you know there's so much going on we're able to kind of experiment right 
I think fitness has become as good a uh, biggest food now for New Delhi. You know, yeah. like like you said, like studios everywhere. Still, I want to rule in for some sessions. Yeah. Uh, it's the new trend, man. Like, uh, I love it. Like, I haven't tried it, but I want to like start playing around whether it's spinning or body combat or yeah. just going for a great run. One thing I'll definitely want to get back into later at some point is cycling. I'd stop cycling. I have a bike, so like I'll start cycling again at some point. So I think now Delhi and Bombay have enough to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So if you want to do it, it's all available for you. Everything. Yeah. Uh, so moving out of the you know the fitness uh, conversation, moving into the diet and recovery bit. What does your day look like in terms of uh, the nutrition aspect of it? And as you rightly said, you know you're uh, sleeping earlier, waking up earlier, so you're getting X amount of hours of rest for recovery as well. How does that all play into your journey as a whole? not my journey i think everyone's journey it should be a very important part it's just not about working out it's not it's just also not having a great 8 hour job i think none of us have like a great hour 8 hour job you're mentally exhausted you also have to work you should have a great workout for your mind like chess is a great workout for just your mind you know right yeah. poker could be a great workout, workout for your yeah, mind yeah. because you're thinking man you're thinking uh, beyond your monotonous tasks that you have at work yeah. right you're thinking beyond that how uh, my nutrition has played a important role is now because of my trainer he told me that man you have to have energy if you want to work out yeah there have been times because i've been recommended to eat something light at 4 pm yeah because my training sessions at 7ish if i haven't had that he's like bro you haven't eaten today he'll know from the he way knows. that you're performing i don't know wow. or like yeah like it's funny but like maybe he knows how it's done or whatever it is i'm like now like you know like these myths like fats are not good for you yolks all that is gone man like fats are good for you like you need certain fats like yeah. so like i've like this is something i've learned recently now like that eating habit has become good in the last 5 6 months uh where the nutritionist told me like you know break your diet if you want to gain you have to eat more no matter what because you need to burn it also like you need to have energy to burn at like 7 7:30 also yeah, right yeah. after a long day so that all alone like the important like having like stuff with less preservatives now I'm trying as much as possible. Do I have processed food? Yeah, like though I do beast out every other day, so I balance it by like you know two days of like stuff which is as like clean as possible. Like it can have oil, yeah, but as clean as possible, as natural as possible. That's as I think it's it's very important to treat your body right. You reward, you need to reward your body by doing certain things, whether it's a good workout, uh, whether it's be uh, being active, or whether it's also eating right. I think eating right is a very very important thing. for any kind of transformation or also being happy with yourself yeah uh, can't be munching on shit throughout the day yeah i agree yeah. completely while we're talking about you know diet and the importance of recovery as well as you know as somebody who's kind of you know learned so much over the last years and experimented in your own journey um, have you ever taken supplements do you think it adds value and you know is it something that people should dabble with or is it fine to kind of do it naturally Well, each person to their own. I I have just taken whey protein, and I've also tried vegan protein. Yeah, I prefer whey because it's tastier. That's it. You know, it, it tastes well with they are like a cold coffee, like yeah. milk and coffee, or just with water, right? Pea protein has been like something where like you have to adapt to the taste. You know, it's all vegan, it's all natural. Whey has helped my transformation for sure. I try to have it once or twice a day if I'm working out on that particular day. Yeah. Uh, I used to be really silly before, like I used to just put a tablespoon of like protein in my uh, <laughs> drink, whatever it was, yeah, yeah. and that didn't do anything, man. So like, then it's important to have like a scoop or two during a day. Yeah, yeah. So I can like say that at least for me, protein has, has, yeah, for sure. So and impact wise, is there a difference that you felt between whey protein and uh, the vegan protein, or is it this only the taste difference that is that is there? I think impact wise, also for me personally. uh it was way more better okay. for sure okay. and even taste man i say pure taste really good <laughs> <laughs> yeah jumping into fitness gear you know you're uh, very passionate about sneakers uh, everybody that you know knows you personally or follows you on instagram knows that you're a big fan of sneakers of of shoes and fitness gear in general how do you go about choosing your fitness gear and what are some of the favorite things that you that exist in the market currently Well that's a funny one man like this should go up like online for sure but like I think the right gear is also motivate me a lot to work out yeah. I kid you not uh whether it's like a nice uh, ganji or tank top I've got for basketball uh, or, some, or like you know some gear that I've got like for the gym I don't know why it excites me to go more to the gym I kid you not this is not a lie yeah that uh, yeah for sure so the kind of stuff I wear at the gym is basically I try to cover myself up as much as possible because it's really cold on the basketball court is simple stuff like a tank tops and like loose enough uh, shorts yeah i have like different now when it comes to gear like i have different shoes for running though different shoes for basketball and different shoes for uh, training so if i'm doing uh, 
legs uh, my shoes will be very different than the day i'm planning to run or do cardio yeah, because of like yeah. the movement and the support i need for leg day for yeah. sure so that i try to maintain so like i know that i'll either wear like some a proper training show on my, my leg day or a basketball shoe yeah. which is high ankle yeah. so that there's Less some support. support yeah otherwise i keep it really light uh, with for the my running and the yeah, cardio yeah for sure yeah there's definitely a lot of you know research that says that fitness gear motivates people and gets them excited so i don't think you're alone in that department in terms <laughs> of you know feeling motivated for either basketball or for the gym you know getting into a little bit of uh, a deeper understanding of what you have learned you know could you give our listeners maybe three or four tips that have really worked for you in the past um, over your journey and a little bit about why that works for you currently and why that may work you know for other people as well sure man uh, i'll keep it simple also the first should be like routine and discipline i like vouch for it straight up some of the fittest people i know or some of the most active people i know they have routine in place they have discipline in place if you have if you work towards something whether it's uh, like towards yourself professionally also when you decide that i want to have routine and i want to work better and uh, this is how i can do it you will drive yourself towards it so i think it's very important to have that in place and making it in a habit that's what it is for me now it's not a task going to the gym because it's by default in habit like breakfast lunch and dinner man by default it's a 7 pm going to the gym no matter what or like going for a run or playing basketball no matter what so it's it's fed in my head like how we it's fed in our heads like to have breakfast at like 8 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. So making something a habit and a good habit for yourself, I think, is very, very important. Long-term benefits are also huge, yeah. right? Agreed. Now the second is, I think, uh, with people like us who are working, choosing right. You have to choose right. If you see like a snack and you see a healthier snack, get used to the healthier snack, no matter what. And you know, healthy stuff doesn't taste that bad. It is delicious. You have to stop yourself from doing certain certain things. If you're on a night out, choose right and drink right. If you've had a heavy night already, choose like you you can choose whatever you want in life. Everything's on you. If you had a heavy night, next day don't drink. You yeah. know, balance it out. Uh, and that's very very key. All the choices are with you because uh, Kabir, I can't force you to do something. Yeah. Right. I can't say, bro, you had a burger today. Don't eat tomorrow. You have to figure it out for yourself. I can't force you and say, acha, bro, I think it's four uh, p.m. and you're really hungry. So get the packet of chips. Uh, but you can like now within yourself say okay let me not have the packet chips but some they have like like an almond milkshake or something that's readily available at mon bazaar or anything man like there's so much available yeah. now you have to choose right and uh, like love your body no matter what you know because you could have a great workout but if you're not choosing right when it comes to like the right sleep right diet or also being happy at work yeah. it's very important it's choice oriented uh, absolutely yeah if you're not happy at work you can't work out man so you have to choose these right things to holistically grow for sure awesome and the third so third is uh, third is definitely we pondered over it and brought it up a couple of times uh, is seeking help no matter what uh, learning from others is the best way possible man if there's a buddy of yours who knows more at the gym also just like you know, don't disturb him at the gym but you know like just check check up with him what's the right way to do it how is he doing it one good example i'm going to like take uh, in this case i haven't done it recently but lodi when i used to run quite a bit i used to only run with people who were faster than me because i can follow them and it was a task for me to learn from that person someone told me my stride is not right uh, someone said i'm doing it so 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 like you know again these were not trainers but they became my trainers kind of because i learned so much i yeah. was being very tricky if you're a slow runner i always i would rein check and say no man i'm not going to run with you <laughs> but then whenever i got that opportunity of running with someone who's quicker uh i would always take that and then always give me you know everyone loves good uh, loves giving advice yeah. <laughs> but i man i learned man i wasn't landing on my foot right back in the day like i learned that so these things learning from others whether it's professional or a friend or a family person who's into it even a mother man if she can tell you like you know these are the best ways to eat at home or this is what you should eat at work take it from her man she know the best about that yeah, also yeah. absolutely yeah thanks for that man i think that's super useful for our listeners it's been useful for me absolutely um and the last point that i wanted to chat with you about was some of the collaborations that you're doing uh with fitness brands and lifestyle brands you know how does that equate to you kind of helping others as well i think you know even i've i've been motivated by talking to you multiple times by seeing your instagram feed and you know how active you are um how does that kind of you know play into the ecosystem when multiple people that are getting fit do you feel that has like a resonating impact with people that are in the space well i hope it does but what i do love is that i see a lot of our peers and friends now more into fitness and each other pushing uh, each other more like you know i'll see 
maybe your friend or you doing something that must, then I'm like dude man everyone's doing it now like so it's basically like an ecosystem that's been created by all of us of sorts i would also want to talk about it more 100% when i'm slightly more fitter i think i have small goals now which i'm working towards short term goals yeah so then i'll definitely want to talk about like my journey more when i'm fitter and like hoping that you know like there's someone out there who probably sees that and like dude man if like someone like sahil can do it like why not me because i'm a regular guy man like we all have like day jobs we all do the same things after work also it's just that i fit in like 60 to 70 minutes of a workout in a shower that's it yeah. in my day that's yeah. it nothing else absolutely um and also merging a little bit about you know your professional experience your professional life with the current discussion that we're having you know how can people that are in the space brands that are in the space that are trying to you know spread the positive message i feel there are a lot of companies i know that are doing a great job in the in the health space in the wellness space but they're not able to get the message out properly you know are there some things in terms of advice that you can give as a communication professional that is helping so many brands get the word out and get growth uh, what is what is some advice that you can give our listeners that are entrepreneurs in the health space of how to get the word out in a way that is impactful at the end of the day i think outreach is the best way relevant outreach you know if you're a food brand be at some run you know if you're a fitness brand sponsor a great workout it's the physical connect is the best way possible you know like how now with digital media which is the biggest forum possible for us to like learn things of there's a lot of stuff going on there already yeah. right so if they can if there's a fitness brand and uh, can pick up a running group and like you know sponsor them or like uh, like get a nice running coach for them i'd say that's bang on hitting on them because you're improving their lifestyle for sure yeah. if the you can end that down with like some nutrition buy some brand you like you know trying to make sure that you know this is the right nutrition after your workout or after your run then you're trying to also get a customer in yeah. place so like yeah. I th- because digital is amplified so much i would say some these physical touch points could be amazing for sure like if if you do something and if you have like a physical activity i'd definitely want to join you and learn for sure Absolutely. So not being just another speaker in the noise, right? Try to yeah. kind of differentiate yourself by having these physical touch points and adding value in the end. Yeah, hundred percent. Lots of events, uh, lots of like uh, one-on-one sessions, lots of outreach. You know, like people can still use DM and still meet, right? Yeah. You're like, hey man, I'm doing a run. This is what the brand's all about. We'd love to have you on board. So like, you know, you can start a conversation online, but it has to like come down offline because a uh, fitness is all about offline, oh, right? Being outdoors, yeah. Yeah, being outdoors, man. what's missing i think now is uh, bringing that back uh, into outdoors man like you know picking up like people should pick up sports you know we, i think yeah uh, bro we are really lucky that we have a sport that, that we we're love passionate about, but yeah. i i see a lot of people don't have sports that they're passionate about uh, being outdoorsy is very important man i know pollution is high and all of that but uh, we we are very less on running we are uh, uh, very low on uh, go, running outside or walking outside and all that we need to like get this back on track for sure cuz like outdoor workouts are technically the best man with mother nature yeah i agree man and i mean for me personally uh playing basketball for cardio is way better than you know running on the treadmill or trying to do a you know elliptical machine or cycling indoors i like that way more and it's competitive bringing the comp- competitive aspect makes it even more fun like it's an insane workout man like i'm usually panting that's the only time i'm usually panting yeah that's it also like the banter you have like it's also great psychologically and for your mind it's great. okay we spoke about chess sometime back yeah, yeah. uh basketball also mind game man you need to like process everything really when when to pass when to shoot how yeah. to dribble i think it's uh, a great workout for your mind a uh, football or basketball or cricket could be a great game because you have to think a lot while making that move, move absolutely and also gymming or like a session is you listening to someone or you doing it yourself and you have your music or new music i don't know but like it's also like a very friendly open environment which you crave because at work you're with the same uh, people uh, when you're playing a sport it's a different set yeah. and uh, there's so much banter and like there's so much healthy competition yeah absolutely that you that you like we we were used to back then yeah. so now i crave it more cuz we were used to it to something like this till college probably but it all stopped after that so i look forward to like my sunday or saturday games for sure absolutely well i look forward to seeing you out there on the court again soon and uh, thanks again for making the time here uh, for us and uh, for all the valuable information that you know we're able to share with our listeners uh, for our listeners that want to get in touch with you professionally or just for advice uh, where can they reach out to you and all of this information will be in our show notes but why don't you tell our listeners as well you can just hit me up on instagram at sahil marwa that's the best way like i'll probably reply and like there's a great workout session i'll join them for that awesome awesome well thank you so much for making the time for us sahil we really enjoyed this thanks kabir this All was right. fun
All right, guys, that was this week's episode of the Pursuit of Wellness. You can find us on iTunes, Castbox, Savan, or wherever you guys get your podcasts. We're on Facebook as the Pursuit of Wellness and Instagram and Twitter as T Power Podcast. And you can obviously check out our website, Manchamedia dot com. This has been a Manchamedia production. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for our next episode next week.